Hello again, everybody. Sci-Fi Guy 86 here with you with my next episode, my Let's Build. Um, since the last episode, I finished this front here. I added in the stone glass there. I add also finished all the stairs in there. I also added these uh, stair surrounded uh, decorations there. And on the sides, I finished all these windows as well as pillars. Um, there's going to be a doorway there, or at least an archway there, an archway there that we're going to be working on a little bit today. Um, and if you come back to the back here, you can see the finished back part of the stained glass window. This whole thing is looking quite schmexy. But yeah, that is that. So what I want to work on today is actually uh, trying to build up a courtyard over here that this castle could be uh, kind of connected to. And in order to do that, what I need to do is figure out my pillars. Okay, so I need to take this around. Very laggy today. here, or another hallway over here, and the courtyard being that entire center area there. I may do uh, any number of things there, I'm not really sure what yet. Maybe just some statues and fountains and such. Um, open uh, roof area. So you can see the sky, but the covered walkways so that you're protected from the elements if the case may be. So, the idea is I'm going to want some pillars in here, about the same spacing. Actually, I could probably do less spacing than that, because this is a much smaller building than that is. So, one, two, three, four. I'm thinking three, actually, would probably do it perfect. will be the spacing between the pillars here. Oops, there we go. And then let's see, that's that's only one, two, three, four pillars before we get over to the ballroom. And I'm thinking it might need to be bigger than that. This is the courtyard that everybody hangs out in outside of the ballroom. So this is like where the parties take place, really. The ballroom's where the parties dance at, but this is where they all actually congregate, so to speak. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Twice as twice as big. That makes it a good sized garden there. So I like that. Yeah. So this pathway will uh, continue down this entire area here, and there will be pillars on the other side as well. And this will actually kind of separate. Actually, you know what? I'm probably gonna have a building, or at least a wall, separating this area from the noble area. This is just the. Uh, this is still the noble area, this is not the royal area. I'll be working on the royal area later. Alright. So I'm just going to keep going all the way down with this thing, because it needs to k extend just as far as all the rest of this did. Actually, you know what? This might be where I... have the... yeah, this will be where I have the actual wall of the next building at, right here. Alright. So 
I'm actually thinking of a giant circular building for the ballroom, um, prob probably with a domed roof, and uh, probably some kind of entry room. It would have like a grand staircase kind of thing that would allow you to get into the ballroom. At least that's what I'm thinking. Maybe like a buffet area for cake and such. Um, yeah, so this here might end up being a wall. I'm not really sure what's going to happen there, so I'm not going to really focus on the outside of that walkway. I am going to focus on the inside of the whole walkway. And this here, honestly, is just to make sure that I'm, uh, like this this wall will probably change. This I'm probably going to do a circular. Actually, well, I might have to do a square attachment into a circular like dome kind of thing. So that actually this wall might be what I use. It might just be. Right, let's go ahead and extend this guy right here. If you guys haven't seen yet, I've uh, uploaded a portcullis, a piston portcullis. It works in both Xbox version and PC version. It's a beautiful design, very compact and very efficient. works very fast. And I actually uh, love the new lever design I've come, that I've come up with for it. <coughs> I mean, not lever, but a button design. It makes for a much more concealable redstone. Whereas before you had to have that big bulky building right next to your gate. And with this new des design that I have, you don't have to have that big building anymore. So that's pretty exciting. our second walkway. Uh, now what I'm going to need to do is space out all these pillars the same way I did on the other side. Hopefully it's the same way, actually. Looks like I did a two-space there. Oh, my mouse is being all laggy. So, <coughs> definitely thinking some kind of a central fountain in this courtyard, some kind of central area that would be like a focus of this, and then the bushes all the way around it would be like more extensions of the design, It'd be maybe like a giant flower design or something like that, you know, um, or at least from the aerial it would look like a giant flower. But we'll see, we'll see, that's what I'm thinking at this point. Alright, so there we go. Um, Actually, guys, I'm coming up to the end of this episode. I didn't really get much done, but if you can envision it, this will eventually become a courtyard. Also, over here is going to be the giant ballroom building. Um, thanks for watching another episode of my Let's Build, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.